everyone, it's Dina, and this is my update of Little Ghost, or should I say very, very big ghost. <laughs> I brought some treats this time. I, um, he's definitely, oh, look at the baby. Um, he is almost 33 inches tall at the shoulders. Let's see if I can get him to. So I'm sitting on my knees right now. So, come here, ghost. Come here, ghosty boo. Come here, ghost. Sit. Sit. <laughs> ghost. Sit. He doesn't really, uh, he's not a big drooler or anything. It doesn't help that I'm sitting, does it, baby? Ghost. Sit. 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 <laughs> Sit. All right. Good boy. Thank you. So, let's see if I'm getting to in the camera a little bit more. Hi. Got my heater back there. Okay. He's sitting. Well, actually, he's almost laying down. He's sliding. So... Uh, yeah, 30, almost 33 inches tall, so you can see. Um, he stands really tall. I've got two nieces. Well, actually, I've got three. I've got a new niece. Um, she was just born two weeks ago. But, let's see if I can get in film, too. But, um, <laughs> oh, I love my baby. Um, my two nieces. My two nieces are uh, shorter than he is. So yeah, I would not suggest a Great Dane for, if you have small children, I would definitely not suggest them because he's so big and he does knock them over. So especially one of them that comes up a lot more. Um, she's been knocked down a few times. And uh, so he's definitely intimidating at times as well. I've got some uh, neighbor's kids and uh, one of them is three. So uh, he can be pretty intimidating. He likes, if you start running, he will run after you. And most of the time he won't trample you, but sometimes he doesn't stop very gracefully because he is a Great Dane. They are very clumsy at times, but I wish he'd be in a film. Here I guess he's about 100 pounds right now. He could probably be bigger if I fed him more, but sit. <laughs> sit. <laughs> shake. I can't do it. He probably won't shake. He's sliding. Ah, okay. Um, but yeah, so almost 100 pounds. He's got a little bit of a sensitive tummy, so we're giving him the highest quality blue buffalo right now. So he's pretty expensive. He's getting pretty pricey anymore. Definitely close to $100 in food right now. Um, he loves to play with the kids, and um, yeah, I'll probably share some. Let, let me know if y'all want to see some videos of him playing with the kids. And I've got a lot of videos that I have uh, uploaded, but nothing on YouTube. I haven't put any on YouTube. So let me know if y'all want to see some silly videos. I have one video of him literally getting scared. And uh, <laughs> so let me know if y'all want to see that. My husband actually jumps out and scares him. And he takes off running through the house. So it's really cute. Um, I keep saying I'm going to show you all him uh, ringing the bell because he does ring the bell to go out. Because, you know, you don't want a 100-pound dog or close to 200 pounds by the time he's full-grown to be jumping on the window or the door, because the door is window in the back. My back uh, door is a window, most, most of it. So I don't want him breaking that or anything like that. But, come here, baby. Come here. Come here. Aw, oh, ain't he pretty? You should a big boy. You should boy. Shut a big boy. So yeah, I guess that's all. Um, yeah, he's a little over 10 months old now, and I'll probably show you all his one year uh, celebration update video, I guess. He wants to go out. He wants to go out of the room. He actually just nudged his nose on the doorknob. He can actually open some of the doorknobs in the house, which just amazes me. Um, I think that's pretty impressive. He actually can open my son's door. Uh, and he can open my daughter's door. Her door is like French doors, so they're a little easier to open because he can get his nose in there and he kind of nudges it in there. He does get in the garbage a lot. Um, we have a garbage that slides out in the uh, kitchen and he can nudge his nose in between the door and the, and the, um, the um, island and he can actually nudge it open. So that just amazes me. 
how he can do that. And I love that his little hand is right up in the front. Come here. Oh, so anyway, he is such a baby. He is, okay, you want, you want another one? Okay, at least you can see him. There we go, you can see him. He's pretty skinny, um, but I do kind of get kind of slim. Uh, he's, since he's almost full grown hot was he may go up another three inches. I think his dad was like three inches, so yeah. Ew. So, um, his, dad's, his dad was 36 inches tall, his mom was I think 30 or 31 inches tall, so he's already bypassed his mama. But, aw, you're doing so good. That big boy. Yes, you are. But he's a great dog. I mean, he is amazing the only problem that he has is that he's large poor thing he thinks he's probably um five pound dog he does try to get up in your lap at times and he does uh he's just pretty pretty wild and crazy <laughs> very intimidating a lot of people are kind of scared of him at first but most people just love him because he just has such a gentle sweet spirit yes you do i think you should take a boy okay one more for the show one more. <laughs> so, <laughs> he, I just woke him up too, which just blows my mind that he actually came to me. Because he likes to sleep. He sleeps most of the time. He's such a sleeper. Sit. Sit. <laughs> Good boy. Thank you. Thank you. But yeah, hopefully you all enjoyed this video and uh, look for more updates on Ghost. And we will see you all later. Bye.